welcome to Michelle Says Again. I'm Michelle. It's Friday, so you know what that means. It's another hashtag Friday Says kind of day. Well, in reality, it's Thursday, but you're seeing this on Friday, so let's go with it. <clears throat> okay, so first of all, I would like to thank Jen from Today in Jen's Sewing Room for starting this hashtag. It is a great community builder for the sewing community. I encourage you to go to YouTube, to the search bar, put in Friday Sews, and check out all the people that are participating in the hashtag. The form is basically telling you a little bit about what we've been working on, what we have coming up, and a little bit about life. If that sounds interesting to you, then hang on. Okay, so let's start with what I've made. I kind of finished my tester version of my crossbody bag. I did not 100% finish it, and that's because when I got to this stage, I realized that I just didn't like the bag. Not the aesthetics of it, because I do, I mean, obviously I like the aesthetics of it, otherwise I wouldn't have bought the pattern. I don't like the shape and size. So it is a long bag this way, but it's kind of narrow this way. I've never been a fan of deep bags that I have to like really dig in for stuff and my hand like just fits in it. So I feel like if it was this way, the size of it would be okay because I, you know, I don't need my bag to be huge. I put a small like wristlet wallet in it, my keys, my phone, maybe a lipstick. That's all I need in there. Um, so I'm not looking for something big, but this direction didn't work. So I didn't completely finish it because why am I going to put all that effort into something I'm not going to use? So that was a fail. I was, for me, um, it is a free pattern. So if that style appeals to you, then I will link it in the description box. It is a free pattern from I think so.com. Um, as a new person to handbag making. I did find her instructions a little bit confusing. Obviously I was able to finish it, but they weren't super clear for me. So I, until I get to a point where I have more experience under my belt in making bags, I probably won't buy more patterns from her, which is a shame because she's got some really cute patterns. Um, if you are more experienced than me, then I encourage you to go check her site out because she's got some really cute stuff. Um, anyway, so I was talking to my sewing buddies. We have a Tuesday night Zoom call and uh, Mari from Mari Sews and Jen from Today and Jen's Sewing Room and I were talking this week. Not everybody makes it every week. So I was telling them about my lack of luck <laughs> with my bag and um Maddie has been on kind of a accessories journey as well and she recommended the spring sling bag by Emmeline bags I'll put a picture of it up here somewhere and that is perfect like it's the right shape I really didn't want a zip top I really wanted a flap top and this kind of hit all the points so um I am still going to, I'm gonna make a tester version first, make sure I'm good with the sewing. I'm so glad I did that with this bag instead of jumping straight into my leather. I would have been really bummed out. So I'm still gonna make the tester version first and then I'll make it in my hot pink and my purple leather with, oopsie, with this fun strap. Um, so I will have to make a modification to the way the strap hooks on um, from that pattern, but I think I can do it um, without too much trouble. So I'm excited about that. And then the other thing that I made this week is the valley dress from Pattern Fantastic. So I'm gonna insert some video of me here doing a little twirl, but I made this dress this week and my goal was to wear it for Thanksgiving dinner, which is what I did. Um, my husband and I don't usually cook for Thanksgiving because it's usually just the two of us. Um, so we went out to Morton's Steakhouse and had a really nice meal. And then we drove down Collins Avenue, which is the um, A1A, which is right on the ocean, and um, took a nice little drive after dinner. And then we came home. My husband is relaxing and watching football and I'm filming. 
YouTube videos. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I did, I made the valley. I have made this once already, so I will link the review to the top that I made in the cards here. Um, and this time I made the dress version. And the only difference really between the shirt version or the top version and the dress version is the length, plus the dress version has pockets where the top doesn't. Um, so the review for the top is pretty much gonna tell you what you need to know for the dress. The only difference is the pockets, and I'll be honest, I don't love what they have you do with the pockets. So the pockets actually are part of the skirt pattern. So you cut the sides of the skirt and the pockets and then continue, and then, and then you just sew that seam up, and then when you flip the pockets inside, because it's a pretty big pocket, they have you sew kind of a seam up um, to, make the entrance not so the entryway for the pocket not this huge massive pocket i don't know if i did it wrong or what but where that line hits it just makes the pocket feel very small to me so i might go in i mean it won't affect the aesthetics of the dress at all i think i might go in and pick that out just because i don't like it um but other than that i love this dress i didn't have any trouble with it it is kind of convoluted the way that the i mean the sleeve pattern I'm gonna show you. The sleeve pattern for this dress is humongous. Can you see that? That's one sleeve. So this is the length of the sleeve and this is the width of the sleeve. That's how much fullness the sleeve has in it. Isn't that just fabulous? I love these sleeves. And then it's got a front square yoke with a v-neck opening and a tie and um, a back kind of rounded yoke. I'll show the line drawings here. Um, and then just a long full skirt. So I guess you could call this, I guess the new term is to use is a uh, buffet dress and it worked perfectly <laughs> for my Thanksgiving meal. Um, and I made it in this fabulous rayon crepe that I got from Style Maker Fabrics. I mean, the colors in this are just so beautiful. Um, and I bought it back in August, July, I think. I used, so Style Maker, if you register with them, um, they will send you a coupon for your birthday. So I got a coupon in July, which means I probably had to use it in July. And I bought this and I can't remember what else, but I've had it that long and I always intended for this to be a valley dress. So I wasn't sure what I wanted to sew next, even though I got my sojo back and I'm like ready to get going. I didn't really have anything in mind. So I asked you guys to vote. I asked you to go to my Trello account, filter on woven patterns and vote. And the, there were three patterns that kind of jumped up to the top. A lot of patterns got one votes here and there, but three patterns got multiple votes. One was the valley dress, which obviously won, but it won by a narrow margin. I got five votes, I think, for the valley dress. Then I got four votes for the Blair dress from Style Arc. Um, and then I got three votes for the Butterick 6215, which is kind of like a swing style top. I have actually already made all three of these patterns in some way, shape, or form. The valley dress, I told you I made a top. I'll show you a picture here. I made that many months ago, um, and I really like it. I wear it often. Um, the Blair dress, I made the shirt version. I did not love that. Um, I used quilting cotton, um, I, and I... I was still brand new back to sewing after like a 25 plus year break. It had buttons, it had a collar, it had some kind of funky insert at the hem. Um, and I just didn't do a great job with it. And plus I bought the wrong size pattern, so it didn't really fit very well. So um, I donated that when we moved from Philly and I purged my closet. Um, but I do love the pattern, and now that I've made the Cali shirt dress and I'm better with buttons and collars, I definitely want to give that one a try again. But I realized when I went to make that dress recently, 
it reminded me that I have the wrong size. So I've got to rebuy the flare pattern. Oh shoot. Okay, I can do that now. Um, Butterick 6215, I actually made two versions of that. Again, back when I first started sewing, and my goal was to recreate a look that I saw on Anthropology. Super cute little, they're calling it a mini dress. I would wear it as a tunic. There's no way I would wear that as a dress, but it was just really cute. I, I'm pretty sure the fabric that Anthropology used was a Rifle Paper Company fabric, which is probably what made it so cute. Um, but I found this butterick pattern that I thought looked just like it or close enough. And my problem was that I used bad, not bad, I used the wrong fabrics for that pattern. So they didn't look good. Plus this I made, I aired on the side of caution and made them too big and they just, because it was the wrong fabric and they were too big, it just looked like I had a tent on. Um, so I definitely want to um, look at that pattern again as well. Um, but yeah, so that one got three votes, the Blair dress got four, and the Valley dress won with five. And I had the fabric ready to go because this fabric was bought specifically for the Valley. So that is what I've made. I styled it with these fun pearl earrings that I have. I don't even remotely remember where I got these. They might have been from a Rocks Box subscription. I don't know if you're familiar with that. I, ha I don't have it anymore, but it's a monthly subscription box where you pay, I want to say it's like $21 and you get three pieces of jewelry that you can wear for the whole month and then you can send them back. Or if you like any of them enough to keep them, the $21 will go towards the purchase of whatever piece you want and then you just mail the other ones back and it's free mailing back. It's a, it's a fun subscription for a while it you know introduces you to some new um, jewelry and gets you some fun pieces so I enjoyed it I think I did it for about a year um, I'm pretty sure that's where I got these but I think they're cute because the post goes actually in front of the pearl and then it just kind of hangs off so cute and then I styled them with my rose gold wedge sandals from Steve Madden and I have a mat it's not I mean, it matches, but it's not, it wasn't made to match. I have a rose gold um, wristlet from Coach that looked perfect with my sandals for my date afternoon with my husband. Um, all right, so then I'm gonna kind of put another section in between what have I made and what's next because the in between will kind of help inform the what's next. So I've been on a little bit of a shopping spree the last couple of days because some Black Friday sales have already started. I was not planning on doing any Black Friday shopping. Best laid plans, right? So I did buy some patterns. One was not on sale. Pattern Fantastique is, was not having a Black Friday sale. I could have maybe waited till tomorrow. Maybe they will have one tomorrow. Too late now. I bought the Fen shirt from Pattern Fantastique because I had to have that pattern. It is so me. I'll pop the pictures up here, but it's got those big wide um, sleeves and it's just a nice button up shirt, which a fitted button up shirt is not me, but an oversized slouchy button up shirt, that's right up my alley. And I need shirts for work. So I might still be wearing my sweat pants and my unicorn slippers for work, but I need something nice from here up and I have to like, I have to fix myself up from here up because I have, I have tons of meetings every day and they're all on video through Teams. So I need nice tops um, so that uh, I don't look like, you know, I, I don't look raggedy. <laughs> to put it bluntly. So I bought the Fen shirt. I'm super excited about that. Unfortunately, it was not on sale. And then Style Arc is having a 30% off sale. And you know, I love Style Arc patterns. Um, and I bought three shirts. So the first one is the Archie Woven, which is another oversized button up shirt, but it's a different, they've got different style lines than the Fen. Um, so I think that one will be really cute. And that one actually, I think if you did it in like a heavier fabric, could actually be a cute kind of shacket. Um, and then I bought the Kent woven shirt, which is 
definitely up my alley. That one has the big puffy sleeves. It's got the V-neck. It's just a tunic style shirt. I think I'm going to get a lot out of that one. I think I'll, I, I see myself making that one uh, more than one time. And then the third one that I bought was the Martha Over shirt, which again is a big oversized button up shirt, but it's got some really cute details in it that make it unique. So um, with those four patterns, I also got an email from PDF Plotting. So if you've been watching me, you know, I don't have the patience to paste together PDF patterns. Here's my dilemma. If the big four made patterns in my size, I would take advantage of those 99 cent sales all the time. They don't, so I buy indie patterns, which means I have to download the PDFs, but I don't have the patience for pasting them together. So garment making is a lot more expensive for me because of all that. So all of those two brown boxes up there, there, those two, are full of my PDF patterns that I have already cut out. Not all of them have been made, but most of them actually, because I don't usually cut them out until I'm ready to make them. And then I have a whole basket. Here, let me show you. Uh, my room's messy. I have that whole basket in the corner there of PDF patterns that are rolled up. And then I've got this whole um, thing of patterns that haven't been rolled up yet. And you can't see it, but there's a box where they're over there that's from PDF plotting that has about 12 patterns in it that haven't even been taken out of the box yet. So PDF plotting had a 20% off sale. It's going through Monday, maybe it's a short period, but it's 20% off for orders over $20. So I did my four patterns, which didn't get me to 20. It was like 17 and change. And then I had a couple of patterns in my, um, uh, my folder on my computer that I had not printed out yet. And so I added those in and um, I got to just over $20. And so I, I was able to get at least a discount on some of my PDF plotting. Um, I use them for every pattern, unless it's a handbag, like the handbag pattern pieces are small, so I can deal with that. Um, but other than that, I send all of my PDF patterns to PDF plotting. It's just, it's what works for me. I realize it's different for everybody. Some people enjoy pasting them together. They find it meditative. I find it quite frustrating. <laughs> um, anyway, so then moving on to fabrics, I did buy a few fabrics. Um, I'm not going to show you any screen clips or anything because I'll show you the actual fabrics once they come in, but I bought a couple of fabrics from Blackbird Fabrics. They are having a sale. I don't remember the percent off if it's 20 or 25. I will pop that on the screen here. And Joann's is having a really good sale. Obviously their sales aren't easy to sum up in one sentence. So um, I bought three fabrics from Joann's, one of which is a red velvet. It's red crushed velvet. And the reason that I bought that is because I keep seeing this ad, and I'm gonna pop a picture here, that I got inspired by for a velvet boyfriend shirt. The stack of shirts just looked so inviting that I'm like, I need one of those. So I figured red for the holidays, and um, yeah, so that's what I bought that for. And then I bought two flannels um, in hot pink and orange. Um, and my goal there is those are kind of backups for me. So here's where I need your help. I kind of already put this in my community tab, but I am looking for a wide whale corduroy that's not gonna cost me out the wazoo. I want to make, uh, I don't think I'm gonna tell you yet. No, I'm not. Mm, Cause that doesn't, it's not relevant to my request. So I want either a I want to color block something, so I'll give you that much. And I want to do either a hot pink and an orange, or a hot pink and a red, or a red and an orange. Some color combination of hot pink, orange, or red. Okay? And I cannot find a reasonably priced eight whale corduroy that, um, I, I just can't find one. Everything I'm finding is like, more than $20 a yard. I'm gonna need a yard and a half of each color. So um, 
what I've found on Etsy is like $10 per half yard. So that's $30 per color, which means it's $60 um, just for the fabric. And that just feels like a lot for me. Um, maybe I'll break down and do it, I don't know. I did find some reasonably priced exactly what I'm looking for on So Me Sunshine, but then the shipping was $30. So I was still like over $70 for everything. So um, I'm gonna check them again uh, tomorrow because when I looked yesterday, they weren't on sale. But if they end up running a sale for Black Friday, then maybe I can deal with the $30 shipping. I don't know, we'll see. Um, that just seems, I mean, I realize it's shipping from the UK to the US. It's gonna cost a pretty penny for shipping, but that just kind of hit me right there. You know what I mean? Um, anyway, so if you know of any place that has reasonably priced, vibrant colored, large whale corduroy, let me know in the comments. Um, I, I don't want a thin or a fine whale because this is, for an outerwear piece, I'll, I'll give you that much. Okay, um, so uh, what I have found, like I said, is not reasonably priced. When I found it reasonably priced, it's just too much in shipping. So let me know what you got, please. All right, so then what's next on my sewing table? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the tester version of the new handbag pattern that I picked up from Emmeline Handbags. Um, and then I need shirts. So I would love it if you would go on Trello. Let's do this again, because it was very successful last time. Go on Trello, filter on my woven shirt patterns and throw me some votes here in the comments on this video. And let's see what we come up with. I like it, it, it works well for me. Take the decision making away from me and then I just get to do the fun part. So let me know. All right, that's it for me this week, guys. Um, I hope that you uh, had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Wherever you are, I hope the weather is amazing. I hope you're able to get some sewing in and thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.